plenty of green and yellow shirts forward here for Australia. And they have the lead. Tony Popovic scores for Australia. David James is beaten after 16 minutes of the match. And Australia, who've had the upper hand against England in so many sporting encounters in the last few months, now... Ferdinand and Kuehl, once teammates together at Leeds, and Kuehl has struck him aside, Harry Kuehl for Australia, 2-0. Ferdinand's complaining he was fouled by his former teammate, and as he readjusts his boots, Australia are in dreamland. Where now is for Sven Joran Eriksson? Now, was there a foul here by Kuehl? Ferdinand felt so. It doesn't look like it on the slow motion replay. What a moment for him. 17 years and 111 days. Reeves of Bayern Munich. This is uh, Koncheski. Rooney. First touch is a good one. Gasp of excitement as Jermaine Jenis gets the ball. And twisted a turn from Rooney. It's a great ball in to Rice for Sell. And England already looks sharper. So, Rooney. It's a wide to Jenis. Jenis with a cross. Oh, terrific goal by Jeffers. England are back in the international. The combination of Jermaine Jenis. Francis Jeffers brings England a goal. A goal on his international debut for the Arsenal player. And when all eyes were on one Everton striker, it was a former Everton striker with that superb header who brings relief to England, but they're still 2-1 behind. Everton helps it on to Aloisi, England could be stretched here, Aloisi, Everton, that's it! Everton signals success for Australia. And the man who wants to play in English football could well have delivered the knockout blow to the international team by scoring Australia's third goal tonight. It's England 1, Australia 3. Fine.